Hey friends, this is Renee from Little Village Homestead, and today I'm going to show you how I make an absolute easy yet wonderful paleo bread with coconut flour. So, hang on, we'll be right back. Okay friends, I am back and the first thing you're going to want to do when before you make this bread is get yourself your, your baking dish, whichever you choose to use, and line it with parchment paper because I'm telling you it's so much easier than have the bread stick into the pan. Set that aside and this recipe is so easy. The ingredients are six eggs, whole eggs, large eggs preferably, one and one quarter cups of coconut flour, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon each of salt, baking powder, and baking soda, and a half a cup of melted butter. Now you can use other oil if you want. You can use, you can use that if you want, but I like the butter. You can even use um, melted coconut oil, so, but I like real, real butter. So. We're going to make it this way. So the first thing you do is you take all six of your eggs, put them in a bowl. We're going to mix up all the wet ingredients first. And the vinegar. And the melted butter. Alright. We're going to get that all mixed up. This is real simple to make, and I'm telling you, if you're eating low carb or paleo, it's the most wonderful bread. It's about, oh, it's it's low carb, high in protein. You know, there there is 80 calories in each slice, but I, I don't really worry about that. I, I there's no sugar in it, you know, and it's just quite simply, it's good. Okay. I'm not going to explain the nutritional value because I really have no idea. I just know what I look for. And I look for low carb and high protein. So, we got that mixed. Now, in this other bowl, in a separate bowl, we're going to mix the flour. And in this little cup, I've got the salt, the baking soda, and the baking powder. And we're going to put that in there. And I'm going to get a whisk we want that whisk together real good. You could even sift it if you'd like to, but of course whisking is the new sifting, so we'll get that there just, just like so. Alright, now we're going to take the wet ingredients and incorporate it with the dry. Oh, this is going to be so good. Get that mixed up. You don't want to over mix it, but you want it all incorporated. Just keep mixing like just so that it's there's no dry spots in here. Oh, this looks wonderful. And it smells so good. Even if it's not baked yet, it smells good. The butter and the coconut. All right, let's see. Okay, you can see we got that mixed up pretty good. Now, we are going to put our bread pan down here. And we are just going to get it in our bread pan. And it's not going to be like a runny batter. You can see what it looks like here. The oven's ready for it. Every little bit. Okay. Then we're just going to 
press it down into our pan. Kind of form, because it is, it's going to rise, but it's not going to rise that much, you know. That's only because the baking powder and the baking soda and the vinegar, baking soda and vinegar alone have a chemical reaction, and that's what's going to help fluff this bread up. So, there we have it. Nice and packed down. Get all this off my finger and in here. All right, so there we have it. We're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. And when it's done, I'll be back and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, friends, I just took my bread out of the oven and I've got it on the cooling rack and it is absolutely beautiful. And then this way I can just take and lift it out and it does not stick. I gotta move this. This is very, very hot. This way it will not stick to my pan. Isn't that fantastic? Look how gorgeous that is. Absolutely beautiful. And I don't want to cut into it right now. Oh, it's nice and it's kind of fluffy and and nice. And I don't want to cut into it right now because I do want this to cool. So you will enjoy this. You can have it with toast. You can just have it, you know, warm or you gotta let it cool some right now, but you can have a warm slathered with a little butter, make a sandwich with it. It's wonderful, and it's a wonderful way to be able to eat bread eat paleo and still lose weight. So that is for my paleo friends. There you go. Thanks for watching. Comment, message, tell me how you like it. And thank you for watching.